might put some of the pee on and they can't see it. I went to the doctor this week. She said my colour's not good, but there's just nothing. There's just nothing that can be done. The problem is not having oxygen, the problem is my cells can't use the oxygen. The the cell is broken, so it was good to have that talk with her. So I had uh, I haven't eaten in three days. I had really bad digestive problems. Nothing was being digested. It was coming out the way it went in. And uh, vegetables and seeds and things, which are the only things I eat, are pretty hard on the stomach to digest. So I'm a bit stuck, really. Um, I know there's always tube feeding, but my doctor's in agreement with me that let's not do that just yet. It's Mother's Day and I feel so fortunate. I feel so lucky. My little Lise made me my own house. Minecraft, they both love Minecraft, they're five and nine. They made me my own house and it's got flowers and it's got um it's it's got a crafting table and a comfy bed and they just filled it with such thoughtful things that how can I not be grateful? I'm just Grateful, grateful. But I'm also sad. I'm also very sad. I need to get this out of my system before I go to the table. through that door my entire family is working towards um, celebrating this special day. Right, I'm going to pull myself together. Pull myself together. Today is a day of joy. And I'm going to go and I'm going to get in my wheelchair and I'm going to sit at the table and I'm going to enjoy the meal. And my babies have made me it's what today's about today's about how lucky I am I may have met, I know I've mentioned this before but I wasn't able to have any more children after my first two. I had to have a hysterectomy because of severe endometriosis. But my family wasn't finished. My 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 husband, my second husband, my, my honey didn't have any children. And I wanted so much to be a parent with him. To share the joy of children and so two amazing women Catherine and Olivia and Joe, all helped us they carried our babies for us Joe was our first surrogate sadly uh, that baby died um and um but we're, we're still so grateful to her for bringing us Evie uh, she was miscarriage Catherine K 
gave birth to Isabella, who's our nine-year-old. And Olivia gave birth to our son, who's five. I am so pleased that these people saw me worthy to be a mother to these children. Aiden and Charles, my oldest two, are out there right now. They're both uh, moving on with their lives, engaged. And Aiden has her, her life partner and they're both getting on with their lives. And I'm so glad that this disease is not, it's not destroying their lives the way it so easily could. I have got so much to be thankful for. And right now, right now I'm going to go and sit at the table and eat the meal that my babies have prepared. Toodles.